Let me start off by saying credit to Nashville. They're a very good team. They're a very good team. They're very well organized, and they have dangerous players up front. Um, having said that, I'm really, really disappointed with how we started. Uh, I, I have a team that is full of wonderful, hardworking, honest guys. And that was not an effort that was indicative of them. Uh, so I was really disappointed in the beginning. Uh, you know, I thought the second half we showed life and urgency, which we were missing in the first half. And we were able to be threatening. Uh, disappointing in the end, but when you dig yourself uh, a three-goal hole, it's pretty hard to get out of it. Um, the thought was to play him for 45 minutes, and at the end of it, he was feeling it a little bit. Um, maybe he could have continued some more, but just the fact that he's feeling it, and he's coming off this just a week ago, it seemed to make sense to make sure we don't hurt him further. I mean, we have three weeks till our next game, but we didn't want to take a chance and, and have him you know, be, be out for even longer, potentially, the halftime talk. Um, it was about urgency to be honest. It was uh, a few minor tactical things, but the whiteboard didn't matter at halftime. What mattered was our mentality. And uh, yes, it was a short halftime talk. And they got out early because I think their mentality was better to start the second half than it was the first. And as a result, we were able to create a number of very good chances in the second half, and obviously Diego scores a wonderful goal. Um, so I was pleased with the mentality in the second half. Uh, but like I said, Nashville up three goals, defensively very solid, very hardworking. It was going to be a very difficult task to get back into the, into the game. And mind you, we probably created enough chances to do so but it's not like they were tap-ins. Um, you know, they have a goalkeeper too, and we have to beat him. Uh, but I thought overall the second half was definitely the team that I know, the team that I referenced at the beginning of this press conference. Um, so I, I thought it was <clears throat> a better response, but like I said, you dig yourselves that big a hole, it's very, very difficult to get out. Not really. Um, my feeling was Zimmerman is a very, very good player, a good passer, a good long passer. Um, CJ Sapong, very good in the air. Mokhtar, good dribbler. Um, you know, these are kind of the key events. Or I don't say the key events, but those are some of the key things that we had to pay attention to early on. And uh, I think they just did what they do. I think they defended well. And when you make mistakes, they have players up front that can hurt you. And um, I just thought, again, our mentality from the beginning of the game wasn't right in that we turned the ball over in certain spots and then our reactions weren't great when we turned the ball over. Um, it was strange. It was very strange. And I, I do want to make clear, I've said it a couple of times, I do want to make clear I'm not whining about losing. I give Nashville a ton of credit. They are a very good team, a very well-organized team. And if you make mistakes against a good team that is well-organized, that has good players up front, you're going to give up goal-scoring opportunities. You know, there were different mistakes that led to the, the goals. And sometimes it wasn't even the play that of the goal. It was what happened prior to that that is uncharacteristic of us. Um, and, you know, like I said, they, they have good players. And if you give them good opportunities, they're going to score. Uh, and it was, it was disappointing. There were a number of different ways that the goals happened. But it was, it was just disappointing because we feel like we've seen some tremendous performances over the last couple of weeks. And as I said to the team, you can't have good game, bad game, good game, bad game, good game, bad game, because you just don't go anywhere in the table. So consistency is, is really the, the word and the thought for us going forward. I don't know. Mikey hit some great crosses in tonight. Diego had some good headers. Keeper made some good saves. Um, I don't know if you can pinpoint any one thing. Uh, to make it clear, we can be better at all of that. 
and we obviously work at it and are are working to get better at that but it's it speaks a little bit to the consistency that we talk about um but you know i look at tonight <clears throat> in the second half we uh i'm starting to think about some of the crosses <laughs> uh but mikey was mikey was dangerous in his 1v1s and getting behind his players and putting balls into dangerous spots um Sometimes when there's that many defenders, it's hard to pick out exactly where you can find an opening, but can you just put the ball in the dangerous spot? I thought Mikey did a good job of that uh, pretty consistently throughout the second half, but overall, uh, it definitely could have been better. It was interesting. I'm pretty sure I heard some boos at halftime, and that's well within their right based on the way we played. I did like the fact that once we showed some life and some urgency in the second half, they were completely behind us again. Um, you know, it was disappointing to have a crowd like we did tonight and to not start on fire. That was that was the thing that was a little bit disappointing, a missed opportunity to maybe even some people who are here because because of the youth tournament and haven't been to our games before, missed opportunity to capture fans and, and really get them engaged. Um, so uh, I, I'm... I'm bummed that we had the turnout that we did and that we had the start that we did. Uh, I thought the second half was was um, quite good on our part. Uh, you know that at a 3-0 lead, Nashville is going to take less chances and bunker in, so we're going to have more of the ball. But I thought us having more of the ball in the second half, we were at least effective in creating some chances. I thought we had the ball in the first half, and we were – we're just not as aggressive in our mindset uh, early on. Uh, we already had things that we wanted to work on, things that we will um, – this doesn't change our plans going forward. Th this game does not define who we are. Uh, we have things that we need to get better at and become more consistent at, so we were planning to work on those things anyway, and uh, that won't change. Um, and we'll just continue to work at the things that we do, which – Tonight, just felt like we didn't execute well enough. Even with the ball, some stuff defensively. But we'll just continue to hammer away at, at the things that make us good on both ends of the field and continue to push the urgency. Yeah, I think Max has had a really good last week, maybe two weeks of training. And it's, it's difficult. Uh, you come in, you don't speak the language, and... Um, for those of us who speak neither, we feel like Portuguese and Spanish are so close. It's got to be easy. But I actually think that it's been really tough for him and just in terms of communication. Um, now that we have an interpreter, we feel like we actually have real conversations with him. And I feel like over the last couple of weeks, he's really sharpened up. We've talked, some, but we've talked about some things specifically that he needs to work at. And I think over the last two weeks, he's been much better at it. And um, that's a reason that he earned this opportunity tonight. And he had some good moments. But Max is a player who is barely scratching the potential, barely scratching the surface of his potential. Um, he's, he's, he has so many good attributes that um, fans should be excited. And I think that Max is going to be a big player for us going forward. But he's, he's in the adaptation stage of a young player leaving home for the first time, different country, different language, that sort of thing. Um, but he's making strides. And uh, I certainly think that he's going to be a very good player for us going forward.